Hi guys, long time no see, and I really do apologize for that. Even in my absence I managed to net another 300 subscribers, which I'm really grateful for guys. It basically means that there are people out there that wants to hear my opinion on things, or what my opinions are on certain issues. I'm now closer to 40 than when I am 30. I know I'm getting older because of hair growing out of my nose. That's usually a sign of someone getting a little bit older and wiser, hopefully. I recently had the, uh, the opportunity to weigh in with a comment with regards to this whole MK Mason debacle on YouTube. Now, for those of you that don't know, MK Mason is mm, pretty much an apologist, Christian apologist, in the same vein as someone like Bible Thumping Wingnut. She put out a video and if you go to Capricious Black Box Box's channel you will actually see exactly what I mean. She put out a video that was seemingly quite harmless. Um, where she speaks, you know, very calmly with regards to the fact that atheists don't exist. Now we've seen this kind of thing before. So you know, part of the reason why I haven't been on YouTube of late is because of the disillusionment that I suffered. Um, I came on here hoping to make some sort of difference. And, I'm, you know, I came on here all ballsy and all, you know, chest puffed out, that kind of thing. And I pretty soon realized that the guys that you are going to help is mostly going to be the guys that's never going to leave a comment. That's never really going to engage you. It's the guys that's going to watch a video and silently disappear off the grid and actually think about what you said so my disillusionment kind of went away when I came to that realization and I was just waiting now for the correct moment to actually put forth another video even though I've been quite busy and I didn't feel the need to make any more videos I still um, kept myself quite active in the YouTube community by leaving comments, leaving likes, watching videos daily. I left a comment on Capricious Black Box's channel where I basically told him that uh, uh, I could physically see him biting his lip to try and stop himself from actually swearing at this woman. For those of you that's not aware of the old debacle, he made a fan fantastic video response to the video called um, There Are No Atheists or Atheists Don't Exist in which he systematically set out uh, and discussed the fallacies, discussed the assertions in her video and basically tried to rectify her on certain points which I felt was done extremely well and in a very very good manner he was not rude, he was not abrupt, um, he wasn't patronizing, not in the least. Her responses to him thereafter consisted of what we know as the typical responses from Christian apologists on YouTube. Taking everything that you say, twisting it around, being intellectually dishonest, being flat out dishonest and willfully ignorant on many issues. So much so that based on the comment that I left there on Capricious Black Box's channel, she came forth and commented, replied to my comment, please provide proof of me antagonizing uh, or ridiculing atheists for their position. How dishonest can you possibly be? I then just replied by saying, just look at the title of your video. Atheists don't exist. There's fundamental differences between the thinking that led atheists to be atheists and Christians believing in whatever they do. And based on that fundamental differences, people like atheists will exist. Now, here's the truth of the matter. I don't believe in your God. I don't believe in any gods. I've never had or have currently any special revelation from your God to say that he is the, the true 
one and only God. And I exist. So please make my day. I dare you. Tell me that I don't exist. I'm basically at the point now where I'm going to follow the advice of a very prominent atheist out there, I forgot his name now, that said, while you cling on to your beliefs for no apparent reason, for no reasons that is, that's got um, you know, dis demonstrable proof backing up your beliefs, you will be confined to the kiddie stable for as long as there are discussions on the topic of religion. Cheers, people.